Hey guys, it's Scooter Blocks. We're going to have one fantastic special adventure today here at the airport. I am going to see if we can go downstairs into the tunnels and uh, see if we can get down there tonight. I think I can. So uh, get off your seat and come on and follow me because that's where we're headed. All right. And while we're going there, I wanted to talk a little bit about yesterday's video, the one I did with... Uh, packaging versus reality um, it got very low numbers and views and I wanted to well, well I want to apologize because I thought it was going to be a smashing hit I really thought it was going to be different than my normal stuff that I normally do but um, it wasn't so I guess I'll have to try something else to get to uh, get my numbers up so uh, so if you know of anybody like friends family uh, you want to tell them about my channel so my channel can go up in ratings and views and likes and all that great stuff please go ahead and do that because um, my videos the last couple of videos that I've been doing have been kind of low and I really like to get those uh, all those ratings really up so uh, I want to appreciate all the 26 people uh, that subscribe to me you guys are wonderful thank you very much couldn't have done it without you guys I really can't so, uh, so right now we're just going to be going downstairs, hopefully going downstairs and see if we can go down there. Um, I did test one of my, uh, badges on an elevator. It did grant me access to it. So, uh, we'll try over here, see if it works. If it does, great. And if it doesn't, <laughs> I'm sorry, but we tried. But, um, I don't know. I think they revoked our IDs because of the pandemic and everything because they reduced our hours so uh but hey you know what we're gonna try and see what happens okay so uh we'll get to the um elevator here in a couple minutes okay guys i think we're down here in the basement so um i think we got it so here i'll turn it So this is downstairs, which you might call the tunnels. Um, so I was granted access. It's pretty cool. So uh, so here we are, walking down here in the tunnels. Come to then, and oh, this leads up to the upstairs. I know where that leads to, and then down here, where does this one go to? Restricted area, great. Oh, same thing, stairwell. Restricted area, I can't go in there. All right, guys, so back in <laughs> back in the hallways again. I think we might have taken a wrong turn. Straight ahead that way is an office for American Airlines and so on. So, all right, well, those are the tunnels. So, goes up to the airport. I'm not sure if we're able to go down there. That's the reason why I didn't go down there, guys. Um, so, yeah, there's absolutely nobody here. As you can see, nobody. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Well, we're coming across a American airplane, American Airlines airplane right now. So, E6. So those were the tunnels downstairs, guys. The ones I was telling you about my with my first video. Um, basically, 
on that other side that we couldn't go down the hallway, that's where they have all the airlines, um, offices, American, United, JetBlue, so on. That's all down that way. And uh, I'm, I'm able to, I do have access to get down there, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm able to film down there. So I had to, uh, I couldn't go down there. So, um, so that's it for down there. I hope you enjoyed it because I did promise you guys that I would take you down there. Is a grid of no airplanes coming to the Rochester Airport. No airplanes at all. So I'm going to have a great night tonight, huh, guys? <laughs> all right, well, when we do get an airplane, I will let you guys know. And you guys remember me telling you about my car, how it broke down? Well, $873 later, it was fixed. And then just a couple days ago, I had to spend another 800 and something dollars to fix it again for a different sump for a different part. And now <laughs> I have it has to go back in the shop on Tuesday for a $250 later after the, after I just spent $1,500 on it. Now I got to spend $253 on it. And um actually it's more like 275 with tax. So um not really happy with my vehicle right now, but hopefully we'll get it fixed and things will go and be, you know, be back to normal. So, um, heck of a time lately with that car, I'm telling you. Oh, I have a uh, an 08 Toyota Sienna, and let me tell you, it's a beautiful car. But man, when uh, you know things go on it, man, they go right and left, and everything gets broken down on it. And you know, thank God I had the stimulus check. That I had to use to repair the car with and you know I'm just waiting for the second one like everybody else's to uh, repair the car again so uh, <laughs> so I had to borrow some money from our slush fund to repair the car and I promised my wife that I would when we get our second stimulus check that I would re reimburse all the money that I had taken out out of the account so um, yikes you know but hey what are you gonna do right and everyone needs a car to go around in and uh thank god we had that money to do it so i'm very very fortunate that we had that all right here you guys we have a little mini waterfall in the airport i wasn't sure if i showed you guys this or not that's actually pretty cool they just installed this like three years ago when they redid the airport construction and everything so um i thought it was pretty cool to show you guys all right, see this guy? See that chair right there? This is the chair that I usually sit in all night waiting for airplanes and watching Netflix. That's the chair I sit in. And uh, I sit there and I just wait there until my phone rings from dispatch to tell me where I got to go for what air, you know, airline and what gate. So uh, <laughs> I got a really hard job, don't I, guys? But hey, somebody's got to do it, you know? So, um, but I love my job here at the airport. I really do. It's one of the best jobs I've ever had, actually. And um, besides, uh, when I used to work at Strong Hospital, I used to uh, work in the emergency department, and that was really, really cool, too. I have to say, the experience there was just unbelievable. I will never, ever forget that, never. So, but anyways, uh, I'm going to... Uh, sit and wait until the next airplane arrives i think we got two more tonight i think the last one's here at 9 30. oh we got one more it's already nine o'clock i didn't know that so yeah so uh, one more at 9 30 and then uh then we'll see where the adventure takes us because i think that might be going home or not it depends on what my boss Ooh. says hey guys um our last plane came in and we're all done for tonight now in this museum uh, there supposedly is a little girl who doesn't really haunt um, the museum, but she's, uh, her name is, I think her name is Holly. That's her name. And um, basically she got killed outside the house, actually. Uh, what year was that? Like in the 1840s? And, or 1940. Something like that, but anyway, she got killed there, and then her she's still she's still there. So so people said they they've seen her there, and um, she hides like underneath a uh, table, and um, people bring dolls and 
uh, stuff for her to play with. It's quite a, it's a really interesting story if you ever uh, if you ever go to the museum, um, I would highly recommend it because uh, there is a lot of stuff going on over there. Um, you can tour the museum when the pandemic is over with and you basically can go in the playroom. Like I say, you get, well, at least when I was there, I got touched on my shoulder and on my leg. And they said that two of the kids uh, really like to touch people on the shoulder and legs. And um, there is a doll there, um, Heidi, I believe her name is. She moves on her own very, very slowly, but she moves her arms and her eyes and um, so that's quite unique too as well. So um, the museum has five different buildings. I've only been in two of the buildings though. And uh, two of the buildings I've been into are absolutely uh, haunted. And um, I would love to go in there with you guys and do a session in there because um, it's like you, you walk into them and basically you, you, it's just like you, you can hear like people's like a female yelling and screaming things moving uh you could be touched so it's when we have some ghost equipment too that we'd like to bring in and uh and record some of this stuff so um there is a lot to be going on but this pandemic has got to go first before we start doing stuff like that so um i definitely want to bring the ratings in and uh Hopefully we can do this and uh, just, uh, I just want my channel to be a success. I have been plugging away every day, doing a video a day, trying to do this. And um, I just need help from my viewers and help from other people to subscribe me and to get my, view, my views and my likes up. So if you guys can help me out, that would be great. I promise you I won't disappoint you in any way. So, okay. So I want to thank you guys. You guys have been wonderful. I always thank my subscribers. And um, if you guys can view more of my material, that would be great too. Um, so until tomorrow, guys, have a great night. Peace.